Proton GE that works amazingly. Art Raiders does on that. You just set up your compatibility on your games and then they run and you do everything you want. Obviously, Control 2 brings you up the side menu, go in there, switch on your performance overlay, advanced view. If you don't want your frames capped because it thinks it's the Steam Deck, if you don't want your frames capped, just take disable frame rate. I mean, disable frame rate limit, but let's face it, it's at 60 hertz. You can't see beyond that. But I mean, yeah, take it off. You don't need it. And then you can come back out. You go to F1, gives you that one. Settings and all that sort of business. And you can do your updates through here. Just updates. If you see an update, just do it. So that is literally, I should launch a game really, shouldn't I? Just to show you. Let's do something super simple. Let's do dredge. Just launch it. But everything runs. The There are a few problems when you first run the games. Like Borderlands 4 explodes. And then you relaunch it and then it works. And then it carries on working. Returnal, things like that. Downloads loads of these weird Epic Store overlays that can crash it, but you just restart it. Here we go. So but you, once you've got them going, like Ark took a while to go in the first place, but then it's just like Ark Raid is just seamless. Like, um, you know, they just start once you've got it, your system settled. I mean, I have to keep moving drives around on different platforms. So mine things with rebuilding shaders. So let's have a look at settings. Display, volume 4E, there you go. 